So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question or TWP. I call it a translate word problem question because it's four or more lines long. Whenever we have these longer questions, we really want to focus on a sentence of information at a time, making sure to write down any quantitative information that we read, as long as making sure we understand what we read prior to moving on to the next sentence. So the first sentence here says a neighborhood consists of a two hectare park and a 35 hectare residential area. So I'm gonna say two goes with the park and 35 goes with the residential area or RA. The total number of trees in the neighborhood is 3,934. All right, so 3,934 equals trees. Okay, next sentence. The equation. 2x plus 35y equals 3,934. I'm going to just write that down. 2x plus 35y equals 3,934 represents this situation. Well, let's, what, what situation is it representing? It represents the situation that we wrote down, which is that we have two hectares for the park. So it must be two here, for the, and therefore the park must represent the x term. We have this 35 um, hectare for the residential area. So that 35 must be from here. Um, and therefore the residential area must be represented by Y. And then of course we have a total number of trees. So this equation must be helping us to figure out the total number of trees we have. So the number of trees in the park plus the number of trees in a residential area gives us the total number of trees, right? And this is what I mean by making sure you understand what you read prior to moving on. So now the next sentence says, which of the following is the best interpretation of X in this context? All right, well, I've already determined that X must relate to the park, that this entire equation has to do with the number of trees. So this 2X must be a way for us to figure out how many trees are in the park. So let's see, choice A, the average number of trees per hectare in the park. Well, that sounds about right. Let's see if there's anything else even close to that. Choice B, the average number of trees per hectare in the residential area. No, that would be 35, not two. Choice C, the total number of trees in the park. Hmm. Okay, so choice A, the average number of trees. Choice C, the total. Um, so I actually think A is better than C because we're only asking about X. And this equation wouldn't make sense if X represented the total number of trees. Why would I be multiplying that by two here? Right? That would, why would I want to double the total number of trees in the park? in order to figure out the total number of trees in the neighborhood. So I think X is just the average number of trees in the park per hectare. And that's why I multiply by two because I have two hectares. So A is even looking much better. D looks like it involves residential area, so automatically wrong. So choice A is the best answer here.